Dodger manager Dave Roberts now available. First questions from Alana Rizzo, go ahead. Hey Dave, is CT okay or are you guys just giving him a blow? Yeah, I'm just going to give him a blow. Um, he'll be ready at some point. Um, you know, you look at these last three games, you're, you know, it's four hour games. And so for me, I just think that just to give him a blow and be ready um, at some point in time, I think it's a good thing. And um, I just, uh, you know, it's nice getting Kike in there. So that's, that's all that it is. Are you noticing anything in particular with CT's at bats? Or are you still okay with the at bat quality? No, I, I think the preparation, the intent is all there. Um, he's just miss, missing some pitches that he should hit um, and, uh, you know, swinging at some balls that, you know, strike to ball. But Chris will be fine. You know, he's a guy that's very dependable. I, I understand completely all the lefties in your lineup today. Is Pollock just a matter of a matchup situation? Yeah, you know, AJ's been really good for us. I, I just felt that, you know, with this guy starting, um, I, I just like the left-handers in there and, uh you know, obviously got Jock in there uh, in the five, I think. So, you know, if there's an opportunity to kind of put, uh, make those guys make a decision in that spot, you know, we have Pollock looming. And, uh, but AJ's definitely going to play pivotal in this game tonight. And finally, Dave, just with Clayton Kershaw, obviously he's still starting. So I would imagine your ace woke up today and said he felt good to go. He did. He did. Um, as you know, Alana, he doesn't speak uh, very, very much on his uh, start days. So uh, I guess no news is good news. Okay, thank you. Next questions from Sarah Spencer. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, I was just wondering, um, how much do you feel like you guys have um, an advantage when it comes to starting pitching depth? And how much do you think that'll come into uh, play in this series? Um, we, we, we knew that going in. Um, and we still feel that way. Uh, we still got to go out there and pitch well and, and play defense and, and catch a lead. Um, but obviously with Walker, Clayton, Tony, Dustin, Julio, we, we just like those five guys. Yeah. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, with this lineup with going the four lefties in a row there, are you guys just trying to force them to maybe go to the bullpen earlier than they, they'd like? Yeah, I, I just think that it's uh, – I like the matchup versus the starter, and, and we still got to go out there and take good at-bats. And, um, you know, it, it'll force their hand a little bit. But, uh, you know, I think the game is, you know, putting your players in the best position to win a baseball game uh, individually, collectively. So that's what we've done. And, and obviously, Brian's going to have his own strategy to counter. And just, uh, just overall, um, obviously no travel, um, but I'm just wondering, is this a different kind of grind playing every day? Just not, not just physically, but mentally for you guys, like being in the bubble and all that? You know, I, I think it's actually been good. Our guys are used to, you know, because we are quarantined in a bubble. And so when we have games to play, it's great because we can get out of the hotel. Um, you know, it's those days in between where you don't really have anything to do that drive guys crazy. So to just be playing, um, it's what we all live for. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Uh, care to give us any clarity about a game five starter? Uh, you know, Bill, um, I would if I could. I, I think that right now we're trying to win tonight. And um, so I'm not going to say all hands on deck, but I'm just not going to, you know, we're not prepared to say who's going to start game five. And uh, a little while ago, we talked to Alex Wood, and he had some insightful comments about how difficult it is for a team uh, with high expectations that has played so many important games and important series to always be, uh, a, you know, at their top in terms of intensity and emotion. Uh, do you see that challenge for this team? Um, it, it's kind of like, uh, you know, I think I mentioned it to you a couple of days ago is like, we've earned that, you know, bullseye or that expectation, you know, as far as, as an organization. And, um, I think that that's something to be proud of. Um, I expect our guys, regardless of circumstance opponent to play a certain way, brand of baseball. Um, so I expect the intensity to be the same every night. Um, that's obviously, 
you know, maybe unrealistic at times, but in the postseason, certainly not, a, a, you know, a big ask. So um, I certainly know it's good having Alex back here. Uh, he understands what's expected of him in our ball club, and that's a good thing. He, uh, he also used the same analogy that Mookie used about that series in San Diego. He said the first two games were kind of a punch in the mouth, and yesterday was the response. Is that uh, a good analogy, you think? I mean, sure, that's fair. That's fair. Um, those guys came out and um, pitched well, scored early, um, won a couple ball games. But this is a very um, resilient, a very smart, talented group. Um, so there's certainly no panic, and, and we just want to stick to our game. And we did that last night, and I expect us to do that tonight as well. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm. Next question is from Dave Vassay. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, I'm sure you saw all the coverage about uh, Dusty Baker going out to the mound and looking Zach Greinke in the eyes to make his decision on whether or not to leave him in the game. Is that, as a manager these days, especially in the playoffs, is that a greater leap of faith than in maybe 10 years ago? Uh, Dave, I didn't see it, um, but Dusty's a great manager. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I know Greinke started. Um, so Dusty's got great feel. And he's a great manager. So um, they all ultimately won the game. So um, obviously the result uh, worked out. So it, it, it's great. So I'm happy for Dusty. It, it, speaking from your perspective, ha have you ever felt that? And do you feel like it's a greater leap of faith these days? Um, well, I, I think, Dave, it's, it's always a leap of faith for the manager to, um, you know, leave a guy in, take him out, you know, um, you're using your eyes and, and you're, you're talking to the pitcher. Um, but obviously a lot of times it's judged on the result. Um, so I, I obviously you're bringing it up. So it worked out. Um, so it was a good decision, um, I guess. So, um, but again, that was Dusty's choice. And I've kind of had to make decisions like that all the time. Thank you. Next questions from David Waldstein, go ahead. Hi, Dave. Uh, just wondering, now that you've played three games here, um, you know, your take on the fans. And do you think 10,000, 11,000 fans is enough to have any kind of an impact on the game? Or is it just, just uh, you know, a vibe thing? I, I think it, it, it's, uh, it is what it is not now, uh, you know, during this time. It's better than no fans. And um, they're very loud. They're very into the game. Um, so it's great for, for the people on the field. Um, certainly, I wish that we could have more, but, you know, being mindful of protocols and being responsible, um, that's the best we can do in the state of Texas. So I'm just happy that we have some fans. Can you feel it at all? Do you, you sense it these last three Yeah, years? oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you're seeing signs and people cheering. And uh, unfortunately for the Dodger fans, uh, we're, we're a little bit outnumbered since we're here in the <laughs> South, but uh, it's, still having, it's still good having fans. Next question is from Rayshon Haylock. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Um, in terms of these last couple of days, can you give us some insight into um, what the process has been like for Clayton to be able to get ready for tonight? Um, I, I think it's just trying to get more healthy, uh, stronger each day. Um, we've got a very good training staff, strength and conditioning staff that's kind of, you know, been working with them. Um, he's been working with Mark Pryor and, and things like that with side work and, and things. So, um, like I said earlier, is that we weren't going to pitch him unless he felt, we felt confident that he can make his normal start and we're here today. So, um, right now I expect him to pitch well. And it's been, it's been a, you know, a lot of people helping and um, I'm excited for Clayton to make the start. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Dave, um, just wanted to check in on how it's been with uh, no in-game video in the postseason for hitters. You know, obviously, every Honestly, team Scotty, is it's by. been It's been great. I, I think for me, uh, selfishly, I, I like guys on the bench and, and um, watching the game and talking to their teammates about what the ball's doing, what the zone might be, uh, what the pitcher was trying to do. 
um, yeah, I mean, certainly some guys would rather have the video and, you know, on the margins, make them better. Um, but again, this is the same rules for both teams, for all teams that are still playing, and um, I I'm okay with it. Thanks, Doc. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Doc.